Neil, first part of the job done. What's your initial emotions after securing a playoff place? Yeah, just delighted for the players. I think they've, um, you know, the consistency they've shown has been incredible. So, um, yeah, really nice feeling tonight. Um, thought it was a deserved three points. Played well. Um, created a lot of chances. Uh, yeah, and I the, the say we've we've had to put with a lot this season. You know, as a lot of teams have, but the schedule we've been on has been probably the hardest in the league. We, you know, since January anyway. Um, and the way the players have coped, adapted, the consistency that they've shown, that the, been incredible. So delighted for them, delighted for the effort. But it's only the playoffs, and we're not done yet. We've got some big games to come, and we, you know, we wanna we wanna go further. It's been some way to respond in the last seven days, hasn't it? Three victories, three clean sheets. Yeah, after you know we we went 16 games unbeaten, which I think was in this league is a, a great effort. Um, and we knew there'd be twists and turns, and you know we we obviously had that unfortunate sort of back-to-back -back games against Rochdale and Shrewsbury, where you know we struggled um, a little bit, and but with the response that the players have shown has been outstanding to to you know to go to Sunderland and win in the way that we did, and then a difficult game at Northampton, and then tonight against a good team to to go and score goals and keep clean sheets in all three of them games has been fantastic, and we've we changed shape and. Ask certain players to play out of position sometimes, and um, yeah, I can't speak highly enough about them as as players um, and as men. Let's talk about the one who played in his regular position, Ellie Sims. Two more goals for him. Yeah, I thought he was a real handful tonight. A real handful. Um, it's probably disappointing he's not come away with a match ball because um, he scored two, and the keepers made a couple of good saves off him as well. But him and Jerry, I thought, were really lively, particularly second half. They caused him a lot of problems. Um, and he looked like a really good centre forward partnership tonight. And at the other end of the pitch, Chris Maxwell secures the Golden Glove in the division. Yeah, and deservedly so. I, I've not seen anyone better than Maxi in this division this season. I won't swap him for anyone. He's been outstanding, um, not just as a goalkeeper, but as a captain, as a man. Um, he'll be the first to, you know, applaud the players in front of him for the way they've helped him with that. Um, but yeah, he's he's fully deserving of that. Um, Accolade because uh, I've got nothing but positive things to say about Maxi. Chris, ask you about the substitution second half, given the ramifications and what's ahead. Did you have to sort of be cautious with those on bookings? Yeah, so that came into consideration with Jordan Gabriel at half time as well because he'd been booked in the first half. Nothing to do with his performance, um, and then second half as well. You know, we I know you just brought Kev on and he got booked unfairly, in my opinion, for a good tackle, and then he, he caught the lad from a ball sort of over his shoulder that um, he's put his foot up and didn't realise the, the player was standing behind him. He's caught him and the referee's spoken to him and it, it looked like then he was sort of giving him a warning, saying one more tackle um, and he could be off. So I mean, it wasn't just tonight. I'm thinking of the other games coming up. If he got sent off, he'd be suspended for them as well. And that was the same with Hubby. Um, so didn't want to take that risk because um, uh, I want him available for some big games coming up. And up to third in the table tonight, and with one game left, is it just about trying to secure that home leg for the the yeah. second game in the playoffs? Yeah, and you know it gives us a little bit of a breather, and we can think about what we're going to do for that game now on Sunday in terms of the the team that we pick. But you know, I said when I came here, I want I want to have um, an approach where we go to win every single game. There's a consistency how we prepare. Uh, and well, that'll be no different for Sunday. Um, we've got a good home record and just keep winning games breeds confidence and it helps with momentum going into two important games. So we, we were at home and we want to win.